Uh, December 4th will kind of go down as history in the Ventura City Fire Department. Um, when the fire started out in Santa Paula, we had two initial attack fire engines respond out to Santa Paula and start engaging in the firefight. Uh, that night, uh, talking door to door, uh, which car to car with my with my partner, just learning uh, about the fire and where it was starting in, in Santa Paula and how it was moving this way, pushed by the uh, the winds. Uh, we both had no idea how quickly it was going to be moving. It burned like we have not seen before. The rate of spread, the type of fuel moistures, and the winds that pushed this fire were just unbelievable. I know it was probably you know. 10, 20, 30 minutes, but in that time of just driving, you know, from one point in the city to, to the police department, uh, things just unfolded so quickly. That night, we evacuated 20 to 25 percent of our city's population, and that's because of the help of the Ventura Police Department. We were making plans to have to start making uh, mandatory evacuations in our city as the wind was pushing it directly, directly towards us. Uh, knowing that these neighborhoods up here were going to be right in the way of which way the wind was blowing and the fire was headed, uh, but we didn't know how fast uh, that it was moving. There were several different factors that, that played into that. One, how do you notify all of these neighborhoods in such a short amount of time? And two, how do you safely get them off a hillside area where there's only one major street that supplies all those neighborhoods? From an officer's or a first responder's perspective of being charged with telling somebody to, to leave their home or, or their castle, uh, where, where they built their life is, it's, it, it tugs at your heartstrings. How do you tell them to move at the same time, be aware of their safety and try to, try to get that point across that their safety is paramount through the heroism of the firefighters, through the heroism of the, the police officers that put themselves uh, in harm's way to when the, the fire is starting to, to burn people's houses and help evacuate the, the elderly uh, residents that are having difficulties uh, getting out, uh, my hats are off to them. And it was uh, a truly in incredible scene of teamwork uh, amongst all of the uh, first responders and emergency services. The Thomas Fire consumed over a thousand structures within Santa Paula, Ventura, and Ojai communities. And in certain areas, we lost entire blocks of homes. But we also saved many lives and many other homes because of the efforts of all the public safety first responders. Uh, you know, and coming back to the, those areas and seeing the, the the damage and devastation and, and why it would pick some houses and it would leave some alone. Those are the places that memories were built and families were created and grew up and, and now it's just gone. And knowing that you ultimately want to help those people and help them to safety and, and knowing sometimes you can't, it, it's, it's extremely difficult. Ventura City Fire Department, we're 66 members strong and Ultimately, it took over 8,000 firefighters to suppress the Thomas Fire. I can't mention the Thomas Fire without mentioning engineer Corey Iverson, who lost his life fighting this fire. Um, it's obviously difficult for us as firemen when we lose any of them, but uh, Corey gave the ultimate sacrifice for the citizens of Ventura County. Here in Ventura, we're going to dedicate a tile on our history wall in Corey's honor. I think initially there was a huge sense of devastation and loss. Uh, there was a somber feeling. The, 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 clot, the, the sky was still clouded with, uh, with soot and ash, and people were walking around with masks. But every so often you'd run across a, a sign that, uh, that would say, thank you first responders, thank you firefighters, thank you police. And seeing that, it lifted my spirits. You know, looking around and driving through these these neighborhoods, uh, trying to protect what what's left uh, to homes that, that people couldn't return to, and it's just such a devastating picture, and and it really it really brings you down just just the amount of loss and the amount of lives that are displaced. The leadership from city council down has been unbelievable. Uh, our city staffers, you know. They're not firefighters, and as firefighters, we respond to situations, and our, our city staffers, they were forced to respond because of the Thomas fire. They did an outstanding job. Um, additionally, like I mentioned, our police department, they, they were second to none, 
and then again this community. Moving forward, your firefighters are here. We're going to continue to respond, but we can't go without mentioning our neighbors in Santa Barbara County. The Thomas Fire reached Santa Barbara, but then the rains came and caused mass devastation and destruction in Santa Barbara. We sent forces and troops up there to help as they sent forces down here to help us during the fire. It feels like Ventura has started to, to rally uh, behind uh, this loss and really come together. And I'm, I'm very proud to be a Ventura resident myself uh, and to be part of that uh, rebuilding process.